ladies, welcome to my YouTube channel where I encourage mature single ladies waiting to be married. My name is Fikayo Adeinka. There are times I look back at my waiting period and I'm like, okay, Fikayo, what were you thinking? All the funny, funny things, some of the funny things I did. The truth is, there will be times like I experienced whereby you would wake up, you would not have strength to move on. You will wonder, can I make it to the next day? You'll be tired of your waiting period, you'll be tired of waiting. You'll be tired of praying. You would not feel like praying sometimes. You'll be wondering all the prayers I've been praying. God, what is happening? Nobody's coming. No man. No toaster. Nothing. 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 And um, it went on and on like that until much later I started understanding what to do or the first thing to do when you get tired of waiting. When you get to that state of being depressed, sad, anxious, and etc. The waiting period can be likened to a vehicle going on, on a journey. All right? You're going on a journey. That's what the waiting period is, like, is about. You really don't know how long, how many hours, how many days the journey will take. So you put enough fuel, you check your tires, you fix your cars, the engine is set, and you start the journey, and all of a sudden, your fuel is going down, going down. If you don't stop to look for the nearest filling station and refill, you might actually run out of fuel and the car will stop. We can be likened to the, that vehicle going on a journey. So what and what do you do when you're tired of waiting? Let me also quickly mention that it is normal to get tired while waiting. It's not a problem to be tired. It's not a sin to be tired. It doesn't mean you're out of faith. The only thing is don't stay tired. Do something about your tired state. Don't mix up the priorities level. What and what and what to do when tired of waiting. They, our society, our loved ones, our family, everybody has what and what, what they want you to do. And go out, have fun, etc. I did that. There were times I got tired and I pick up my phone. I'm looking for the first person to call. You know, you know when you're waiting, there are, you always have one wrong guy around you that you will just make a call to. That toaster, that person you know that hey, you cannot get married to. You shouldn't even go on a date with. And you call the person before you are done calling, the person is already waiting for you. You go out with the person and you come back, you feel more miserable, you feel more depressed, you feel more tired. The reason is because you've not gotten the sequence right. All right, so what do I do when I'm tired of waiting? Number one. Understand that the waiting period is a process whereby a time whereby you need to constantly re-energize, restore your energy, get new strength from God. And that can be seen in I also read a scripture to us, Isaiah 40, I'll start from 29 to 31, the amplified version. He gives power to the faint and weary. To him who has no might, he increases strength, causing it to multiply and abound. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, the selected young men shall be feeble, they shall stumble and fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord, who expect, look for, hope in Him, shall change and renew their strength and power and lift up their wings and mount up to God. Did you see that? They will mount up close to God as eagles, mount up to the sun, they will run and not be weary, they will shall walk and they shall not think or become tired. Trust me, a lot of people will celebrate their stories in the Bible, got tired. Abraham got tired, Genesis 15, 16. Have you ever wondered why when Sarah went to Abraham in Genesis 16 and told her, Abraham, I'm tired of this child thing. I can't wait again. Do you know what? Take my servant, hey guy. Have you ever wondered why Abraham didn't say no? He was in his tired state. Because in Genesis 15, God had just promised him, I'm going to make you great. Come out and see the stars. That's, if you can count them, that's the number of your children. Why didn't he just say no? He was tired. Joseph got tired. Genesis 40, 14. If you check his conversation with the wine taster, he was tired. Um, Anna got tired. Um, 1 Samuel 1, 7, 8, she got tired. And the Bible says she cried often and often and she would refuse to eat when Penana would make just of her. You know, you would get tired, but don't stay tired. So the first thing you do when you get tired is to get through into a renewal process um, by finding a quiet place and a quiet time to be alone with God. What you're trying to do is to re-energize, get new energy, get fuel into your car and keep moving. Um, second thing you will do or you should when you get tired of waiting is to be honest with God. Be open, be honest, feel free to break down, feel free to cry. Yes, crying it's not only meant for bad emotions. It's not actually, it's not all the time what we consider bad emotions. Feel free to cry and open up and release that energy. Have you felt, has there been times whereby you cry and you just feel good? You just feel okay after crying? Another thing you, would, you could do or you should do when you get tired of waiting is to pray in tongues. Pray in the spirit. In, that kind of, in Romans 8.26, the Bible talks about the spirit praying for us in words we cannot you know, understand. Another thing you do is to look for a word. The time you are tired, the tired state is the time to look for one word that will encourage you. So you have to get into the study, studying the word of God. You know, just 
pick a passage, big pick a book and keep reading. A scripture will jump at you because the time where you're tired, the time where you're in your vulnerable state, the Holy Spirit is aware. And when you find time to go into the presence of God, he makes himself available, ready to come. Remember the Holy Spirit is our comforter, our strengthener, our advocate, helper and all. So the tired state is a time whereby the Holy Spirit is available to help us. Another thing you would do is to meditate on that scripture. Say it to yourself over and over again. Read it. You could stay on it for days, stay on it for as long as possible then of course one other thing you should do when you're tired of waiting is to ensure that you get back your hope get back your joy how can you do that from the word of god and by studying books look for books that has to do with joy that has to do with hope and get filled again well i didn't get that sequence right you know there are other things i'll talk about that you can do when you're tired of waiting go on vacation this and that they are all very good but first thing first get back to god renew your strength you would always get tired don't stay tired refuse to give up your joy will come today um i had to actually go back to my diary you know i was trying to remember what and what i how i actually felt at some point let me just read one or two things i wrote down that you know i was just laughing as i read them okay this is um February, the, the year 2009. Okay, one thing I really did while waiting is to write. I wrote a lot. I wrote a lot of things down. So this is February 2009 and I just wrote 2nd of February. I said, I'm tired of everything. There was a place here I mentioned something like, it is getting harder each day waiting for God. But it's it's worse to make wrong decisions or something like I'll rather wait. And over here, this is um, April 30th, 2009. I wrote, I'm tired of this long dark road I've been on for years. I must confess tonight that I'm really tired. I don't have strength to go on. I cried and I'm sure heaven must have noticed my tears. In all I've said, don't stay tired. Refuse to give up. Keep trusting God and your dreams will come true. You will be married in Jesus' name. Okay, so please take our confession scriptures. See you next episode. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.